So the second week uh, of focusing on prayer for Advent of getting our hearts ready to uh, welcome Christ at Christmas is going to be focused on reconciliation. Uh, I know for a lot of people that's a dirty word, uh, something that they try to do once or twice a year and get it over with. Uh, but it's something we need to get in the habit of. Uh, our, our kids in school will try to go, uh, Father Ben or, Father, or myself will try to help out once a week or once a month at school to make sure they have an opportunity to build that habit up. Uh, but just like we clean out our, our houses, clean our rooms, get our homes ready for guests, um, you know, Advent and Lent is both a time of, of spiritual preparation. And part of that is what are the boxes we stuck in the corner, the things we haven't looked at, the things that take up room in our hearts uh, that we can throw away, that we can get rid of, uh, that we don't have to carry around with us. So that's the goal of reconciliation. If you haven't been in a while, it's never about the priest judging you. It's about the priest acting as a window to God. Uh, I think God designed us as humans to need to hear that, that message, I absolve you. To have that absolute understanding that God hears this, forgives this, and then you can move on. Uh, because of that, uh, we have again uh, on the Wednesdays of Advent, the, second, the first, second, and third Wednesday, we're going to have confession, probably from 7 to 9-ish, but the priest will be there until there's no one else to hear. We have confessions uh, before every Mass on Saturday, and if you need to go to confession, grab the priest right after Mass. And just ask, hey, can you, can you spare a couple minutes for confession? Uh, there's several other things you can do. If you don't feel comfortable going to your parish priest for confession, I get that. I understand that. Um, there are other churches that do it. Uh, so you can look up online, when is their penance service? When do they offer confessions? I all the time, when I'm here, will have people from other parishes come to your confession, come that I would hear their confession of their pastor. Uh, but we have the internet, and the internet can give us knowledge, things like who offers confession when. The other thing besides uh, looking up online to see when other places offer uh, reconciliation or penance services during Advent, is go online and find a examination of conscience. Uh, for some of us that have been away for a while or get out of the habit, we can only think of, well, sometimes I do this or sometimes I do that or sometimes I argue with my wife. Uh, I argue with my brothers and sisters. I don't do the things I should do. But we don't take time and read an active uh, examination of conscience. It helps direct us to look at other aspects of our life, uh, places we might become blind to. And again, that's not because we're such bad human beings. It's because we are human and we require uh, a checkup. We require getting stuff off of our hearts. So that is what we need to concentrate this week on. What in my house, or in my heart, in my soul, needs to be thrown out, needs to be cleaned? Uh, what do I need to get off my heart that I can celebrate more fully with my loved ones and with Christ?